Hey there, Scorpio. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy New Year to you guys. We are doing a general reading for January 2022. Not all of these messages will resonate with you. So take what does resonate, leave the rest for someone else. And please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Helps get those messages out to people who need it. And it helps support my channel. So thank you so much. Let's see what we got going on for Scorpio, January 2022. We need messages of light and love here for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all spirit? This is the Twin Flame Oracle deck. Uh, this isn't a Twin Flame reading necessarily, but I love the messages that are coming out of this deck. And so let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio spirit? First card out. Release. Loosen your hold. Relax. Unwind. Release fear, anxiety, and doubt. Somebody, some of you are letting go of a past relationship. Needing to let go of this person that you've been dealing with. We also have pause. Inaction. Calmness. Taking a step back and waiting for a sign. So you're in this kind of between energy right now, Scorpio. Waiting for what's next. I think a lot of you may be wanting things to get going, but you're being asked to take a pause alone. Some of you here are feeling very lonely, okay? Um, possibly wanting to be in a relationship. Some of you... Maybe um, have just split up with your person or are between a relationship at this time. Some of you are feeling abandoned by this person that you've been connecting with. Um, but Spirit is saying that there needs to be a disconnect, a complete disconnect from anyone else in order to move forward towards this new connection. Let's get some tarot though and see what we get. Needing to be patient, Scorpio. Uh, it's, this is the worst. Okay. <laughs> I know what you feel, how, how you're feeling when you want to be in a relationship and there's n nothing happening. <laughs> um, maybe even still talking to your ex. Maybe even seeing your ex here and there. Uh, but knowing that there's nothing going to come of this person that you've been dealing with in your past here. And really needing to release them, let them go towards something new here. So let's see what the tarot has to say. For Scorpio spirit, what do you have? Nine of swords. So a lot of thinking, overthinking about this person. What to do with them? What are they, what, what did, <laughs> what are they thinking about you? What, are, what should you do with them? The moon here. Something here is kind of hidden from you at the moment. Um, something that will help you move forward towards, you know, what it is that you want, Scorpio. Um, but right now you don't see, you don't see it. It's hidden from you. Um, so waiting for a sign, waiting for this sign to come through. Um, it's there. It's just not fully in your grasp yet. We have Ace of Wands. Wow. That's pretty quick movement forward. Ace of Wands here highly motivated to meet someone new, okay? Or even come into alignment with whoever it is that you're thinking about here. Bottom of the deck, three of cups, the high priestess. Very cool. Ace of pentacles, justice card. I've been getting the justice card a lot for people lately. Um, things needing to come into balance. But I do feel like, Scorpio, you're moving towards someone who is a little bit more of a high vibration than what you've been dealing with in the past, okay? So this could be a new person. It could be your same person. Either way, if it is the same person, this person will have done a complete change, okay? So if this person has not changed, then you have a new person coming in, okay? Um, this is a gift from the universe to you, Ace of Pentacles, all right? This person is very high vibration. They may even be a little bit psychic. This person is also could be a good friend of yours. Um, they may have recently come into this new deeper inner knowing here it's just a higher vibration scorpio you this could be you as well okay if you're 
if you have just recently had some kind of an awakening or some kind of intuitive development, um, you have a new friendship or the opportunity to bond with friends during this time. And that's what you're being called to do. So if you do feel this loneliness, like not having anyone to romantically connect to during this time, you're being called to connect with friends, okay? Um, because there is an opportunity here for things to come into balance in your life. Something here, a big payoff of some kind, like a good karmic payout um, for, it's like a good friendship you have with it, whoever this is, that they're, you're really, if you sit in this energy of feeling like you're alone and abandoned and don't have anyone, then you're missing the opportunity of this friendship connection you have with this individual. They're really helping you move forward in a different direction, like helping you reset. So if you have this person coming in towards you, like a friend of yours or an opportunity to go meet up with friends, take it, Scorpio, because this is going to really help you. Um, this person's energy is going to help you release. Get your mind off this past person. Um, maybe even give you a clue, like what's coming up next for you. Okay. Some of you are straight up going to be going to see a psychic to find out what's going on. You may have a friend of yours that reads tarot cards or um, something like that. You may end up wanting to get some answers there. Uh, but either way, this person is really here to help you reset, free you up towards a new, like get your mind off this past person, basically. Let's get some clarity. Why is this Nine of Swords here? For Scorpio, thank you, Spirit. We have the Three of Wands. I think you guys were waiting, 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 waiting for this person to grow up or for things to be different in this past connection. Nine of Cups. You wanted things to work out with them. You really wanted um, there to be some kind of stability, okay, in this connection. But no, here we have the Hermit card. You guys have been pushed to be on your own, okay? For the majority of you here, you feel that push to, um, for something about this person in this past relationship kept pushing you towards being alone. Uh, some of you may even be, have been, you know, trying to online date or actually going out trying to meet new people and nothing has happened with that. This is meant to be here, Scorpio, because I think that this person's energy from your past is really attaching to you, holding, trying to hold on to you as well. There's a reason why you are having a hard time releasing this person. Um, you guys have some kind of soul connection with each other that's very strong. And that's why you keep thinking about them, obsessing about them, etc. Um, but I think that you're waiting a long time for them to really get their act together um, and really, you know, meet you halfway. For whatever reason, this relationship brought you a lot of anxiety from what I'm seeing here. Um, it just felt really unstable. And so you keep, the universe keeps pushing you into this alone energy. Why is this moon here? It's like you're having to reset Scorpio, because if you go from one person to the next, you're going to have some kind of entanglement here. Look at that. I'm trying to clarify the moon and we have the moon again. So, you guys, there is a special happy secret coming your way, a surprise, <laughs> that you're not supposed to be aware of at this time. Something's hidden from you. But there's a reason for that. You're not supposed to know what's happening here because you're supposed to believe that the universe is going to help you. You're supposed to believe that there's someone new for you and have faith and relax knowing that this past person was here to teach you some kind of important lesson. There was a reason why they were in your life and there is also a major reason why it's not working out and that's because you have someone new that the universe is preparing you for, okay? Um, there, there could also be some things here with this past person that, um, that you don't need to be aware of as well. Uh, they are going through something that uh, like if you were to know about that, it would hurt your development, your growth and development. Okay. Um, that's a message for some of you. Some of you, that person was cheating on you and you're not even aware of it. Okay. They were 
they were going behind your back. So it's not that's not going to be for everybody. Uh, there's just a blending of stories here, things that are not really for your highest good to know. Um, you know, it's possible this person has been reaching out to other people. And so basically rejection is God's protection in this situation. You're moving away from someone who is very low vibration, somebody who is not in your best interest at all. Um, you thought that they were the one, but they really aren't here, Scorpio. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Just know that you guys are feeling highly uh, motivated to want to start a new relationship or meet someone new. Look at that, the sun. So big happiness unfolding here. Something that's brand new. Look at that, the Hierophant. Divine guidance towards something new here. Scorpio. Wow. Whew. The Empress. Hmm. This is a very high vibrational, evolved relationship. This is, Empress is somebody who's very, very attractive. This person is very uh, warm and nurturing to you. They're not going to be cold towards you, Scorpio. Okay. If this person you were dealing with in the past, very cold at times. You're dealing with their mood going up and down. This new person coming in is a very high vibrational. Uh, they have their thing figured out, basically. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like this person from the past, it feels like they were very defensive. It's like you couldn't have a conversation with them without it turning into some kind of an argument. Um, but this new person coming in, they're really divinely guided to you. They're going to make you very, very happy here, Scorpio. All right? Because they are in this higher vibration. They don't need anyone for their happiness. Um, they're, they're happy on their own. This is a very emotionally nurturing, giving, loving person that you're coming into alignment with. Okay? This person could be a Taurus with this Hierophant card being here. Um, but this is a divine guidance. This is an opening up. I see I'm being drawn to these keys here. This is a being opening up a new door for you. And you're going to be so glad here, Scorpio, that you've released this past person because this new person is really divinely guided to you. Uh, you really needed to be able to cut ties with this past person and clear out that energy before this new higher vibration energy was, was going to come in. Um, so think about it. This could be a, a friend of yours. Like I said, this three of cups here, your person could be, um, like this friend situation. Like if you have a friend that calls on you to want to meet up and go out, um, you, you may feel like, Oh, I don't feel like going out. I don't want to, I just want to be in a relationship. I don't want to go out with my friends today. You should get your butt up off the couch and go with your friends because <laughs> this could be the opportunity that you meet this new individual, okay? Um, and, it, and it may or may not happen in January. I just know that you really, it's kind of dependent on you whether or not you're willing to really release this person from your past, um, you know, knowing that they aren't in your best interest and really being able to Spend some time on your own and feel like their energy has been released. Like that you can feel fully let them go in peace and love in order to bring in this new high vibrational um, gift. This is a gift from the universe directly to you, my Scorpios. Very cool. Very beautiful energy here. Wow. Great reading for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.